This is why Mbappe will never win the Ballon d'Or. In 2019, Paris Saint-Germain star Kylian Mbappe said that he doesn't deserve to win the Ballon d'Or, but what about his future chances? Does he still think the same, or will 2023 turn out to be a life-changing year for Mbappe? Let's find out in today's video. Hello, and welcome to Goalside. In today's video, we're going to talk about Kylian Mbappe and his chances to win the Ballon d'Or. Let's begin watching the video right away. According to Le Parisien, Kylian Mbappe, a striker for Paris Saint-Germain, PSG, is not likely to attend the 2022 Ballon d'Or ceremony if he is not listed among the top three candidates for the award. Mbappe has been selected as one of the 30 finalists for the Ballon d'Or, putting him in contention to take home a trophy for the first time in his career. On October 17th, the French national and Real Madrid striker Karim Benzema received the honour of the Ballon d'Or. Benzema plays for Real Madrid. If Mbappe does not place in the top three candidates for the Ballon d'Or, he will then not be attending the event to receive the award. It is said that this has nothing to do with personal troubles that either him or Benzema are going through, and that their friendship will not be impacted in any way if he does not show up. The forward for PSG finished the previous season with 39 goals and 26 assists across 46 appearances across all competitions. He was a part of the Parisians team that won the Ligue 1 championship, but they were eliminated from the Champions League in the round of 16 by Real Madrid. No other player in the top five European leagues was able to match the amount of 60 goals that Mbappe contributed during the 2021-22 season, although Mbappe's teammate in France, Karim Benzema, is the clear favourite after helping Real Madrid win both the Champions League and La Liga. Mbappe admitted in an interview with France Football that he was desperate to be crowned the best player in the world, despite the fact that he had previously supported Benzema's chances of winning the honour. I've always had the goal of accomplishing it at a young age, without putting any restrictions on my ambitions. I don't mind stating that I want to win, and I'm not ashamed of it, he remarked. I'm confident that lifting the first one is the one that presents the greatest challenge. After you have been accepted into that elite group officially, it will be much simpler to revalidate your status. The notion that a football player is uninterested in winning the Ballon d'Or is a massive fabrication. That statement is completely hypocritical. That is something that all of us consider. We talk about a team and a collective because, in some ways, it serves to hide our aspirations. But it is honest to recognise that we care about what happens to us individually and collectively. I have been a more serious contender for the prize for the past two years, he said. When I first started, I was happy just to be in the top 10. On the other hand, I am one of the four or five students who attend class the most frequently. During the month of January, we won't discuss the Ballon d'Or, but when the lists are released, we offer our thoughts. Later on, when the time for the ceremony gets closer, it is unmistakably brought up as a topic of discussion within the group. We make our bets, we discuss our beliefs. When asked who he thought should be in the top three, the striker responded, I think Benzema, Mane and myself. Mbappe received his first nomination for the Ballon d'Or in 2017, the same year that Cristiano Ronaldo won the honour. Ronaldo prevailed over Lionel Messi and Neymar to take home the trophy. In addition, the player, who is now 23 years old, stated that being counted among the prospects at an earlier stage in his career gave him the assurance that he would succeed at an extremely high level. To tell you the truth, it was an honour, he reflected. I had not yet reached the age of majority, but I was already identified with their illustrious names. Even though it may appear to be unimportant, it was very significant. A genuine advancement in my professional life. It was a message that, in some way, helped to imply that I was among the finest, the person said. It was remarkable that I was included on that list, despite the fact that I was just 18 years old and I acknowledged that I was a top-tier footballer in the eyes of the world. The most notable player to be left off of the list of candidates for the award in 2022 is Lionel Messi, who has won the award seven times and is currently in possession of it. The last time Messi was overlooked for the award was in 2005, when Ronaldinho won the award over Frank Lampard and Steven Gerrard. When Mbappe was asked about his PSG success from the previous year, he remarked that the fact that the Argentina star was scared on the day of the gala indicated that he still has a great desire to be the best. When he woke up the morning of the most recent ceremony, he was tense, since just a few hours later he was going to receive a seventh Ballon d'Or. Mbappe speculated that the other player was thinking about what he was going to say, or how he was going to lift the trophy. Maybe he was thinking about it, Mbappe added. 
I told him that it was impossible for there to be any restlessness after having been there six times before. If I had been given the option, I would have gone with a cigarette in my mouth. However, this demonstrates that he still possesses the spirit of a child and that he is still eager to pick the option that will allow him to excel. He has not become weary. The fundamental reality is, Mbappe is well aware that there are other players who have greater performances, and as a result, there is no possibility of him winning the Ballon d'Or unless and until he displays talents that are on par with the best in the world. At long last, we get the clearest indication that he is still thinking about you. There will be times when the guys will miss you so very much that he is unable to refrain from violating the no-contact rule. When this happens, he would most likely approach you in a kind manner and inquire how you have been doing lately. The following, however, is the case, despite what he asserts. If he tries to make contact with you, it's because he misses you and wants to be with you again. Mbappe thoughts on Ballon d'Or Kylian Mbappe does not believe that his decision to extend his contract with Paris Saint-Germain has negatively impacted his prospects of winning the Ballon d'Or prize. This summer, the Frenchman signed a new three-year contract with Paris, rejecting a move that would have taken him to Real Madrid. The 23-year-old player also disproved the assumption that he had harmed his chances of winning the most prestigious individual award as a result of his decision to turn down a move to one of the Spanish heavyweights. According to comments made by Mbappe to L'Equipe, Real is a machine for Ballon d'Ors, and it must be recognised. There is true know-how, but the most important thing is yourself, the speaker said. It's not your club that will get your Ballon d'Or, but it's you first, and I'm convinced that I will be able to win it one day in Paris. It's not your club that will get your Ballon d'Or. Mbappe acknowledged the public efforts by senior individuals at Real Madrid that boost the prospects of their players winning the Ballon d'Or. The Frenchman continued by saying, You also have the backing of your club and coach, in addition to the support of your teammates who are rooting for you. When the statement, he is the best player in the world, he must win the Ballon d'Or this year, is repeated on a weekly basis, and when the statement is made to be repeated on a weekly basis, eventually it will reach the voters. They must continue to hear these noises even when they are sleeping. Those who are real are quite skilled in this area. They are successful in persuading you practically every year that their player is the best possible contender for the position. And even if you don't always notice it at first, I'm confident that as the refrain repeats itself every day, particularly as the voting time approaches closer, it may have some influence, even if it's only a little bit. Benzema, who plays for Real Madrid, is currently the clear favourite to take home the trophy. Following Cristiano Ronaldo's departure from Real Madrid, the 34-year-old has taken his game to new heights and led the club to success in both La Liga and the Champions League with a total of 44 goals and 15 assists in just 46 games played during the previous season. Mbappe said that he will be rooting for Benzema during the award event and admitted that the seasoned forward should be considered a lock to take home the prize. The interview took place with L'Equipe. Mbappe provided the following explanation regarding the player. He is 34 years old, has just had the season of his life, won another Champions League and was typically decisive. If I were Karim, and if I didn't win this one, I would think about quitting the Ballon d'Or for good, said the other player. So what's your opinion on Kylian Mbappe winning the Ballon d'Or? Tell us in the comments section below. And don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends and family. Also, if you love football, then make sure to watch this next video on our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.